Okay, uh, this is a video showing how to set up controller-based motion compensation in Infuse VR, which is arguably the simplest and fastest way to set up motion compensation if you have an Android-based headset. So if I just pass through, you see I've got my controller mounted onto the desk here, and then um, Infuse is already loaded, so that's why I'm seeing Steam VR, which is streamed via Infuse. So if I tap on here, go to motion compensation, I want to select controller and turn it on and hide that. Now, one thing, so you'll see when I move my feet around that um, now the whole world is moving, that's because there's a bit of flex in the leg rest. I'm just going to recenter and I'll recenter from Steam VR as well. Okay, so now um, in this version that I have, just a bug to be aware of that if you reopen the Oculus menu, it will automatically disable the motion compensation and you'll have to go back in here and turn it back on. All right, so. If I go into my desktop, uh, just a setting to be aware of that's currently not a default in uh, um, Infuse is that you want to go to settings, video, and then you want to go down to encoder config, rate control mode, and you'll get much better streaming video if you set this to variable bitrate. Um, the other settings that you might want to change is in the streaming, so that's just, sorry, bleh. no, well, that's statistic stuff, but where's the, the presets? So I have this all set to the max because I have a good Wi-Fi 6 connection. Um, I'll have a video coming out about that soon on how to get the best streaming speed, which covers both virtual desktop and Infuse. All right. So the really cool thing about the motion compensation in Infuse is that it's independent of the motion software when you're using the controller based method. So you can use either your, yours VR's game engine or sim racing studio, or probably any other motion software because it does it to the video stream effectively. So um, I'm going to now just start No Limits and show, yeah, I'll just close SteamVR's dashboard. If you're wondering what these dots are, that's the Your Virtual Tracker. <clears throat> okay, so if we go, I always like to test with Rocketman because it's a really fast track and I'm recording in the headset, so this should give you an idea of the streaming quality, although I am also, rec because of the recording, it might affect the available CPU for the streaming, so... So what you won't see in this video is the motion of the chair. as I expected. So now if I quit the game, just to show, so the chair has moved down. Now I'm not sure I'll be able to do this because I'm already, maybe I can just set the chair to start. I think if I stop it, it will go down again. Oh no, it's sitting. All right, so I'm going to close. Oh, yeah, that doesn't actually fully close it. Just going to get my keyboard. Oh, I think I just moved the chair a little bit, uh, the table a little bit. 
All right, so game engine doesn't fully close. So we just have to exit it from here. Goes into the Sistray automatically now. All right, so I'm going to open Sim Racing Studio. And I just want to move that up to the second screen. Hopefully that will work. Yep. Okay, so what we can see here is the motion box is loaded. Just going to see my motion compensation is still enabled by pushing my feet on the leg rest. So, um, because Sim Racing Studio loads automatically based on the game, I'm just going to play no limits again. All right, so if we go play, I'll do the same track just to show. Now, there'll be some differences between the motion and this will come down to um, uh, tweaking the profile in the individual programs and I've not tweaked either of them at the moment, so. Um, okay, so you can see there's a bit of video compression happening here, and that jerking again is the, um, the profile for the game. So once again, I'll just demonstrate. So motion compensation is working because I'm shaking my feet. Oh, and now it just went forward because of the game finishing. But again, if I wiggle my feet to move the footrest. Um, now, if just to show you the bug in case it ever happens to you, if I open the Oculus menu and close it and now wiggle my feet, it's not moving around. So I just need to go back in here and just return on the motion compensation at which point you'll need to also recenter your oculus view um, when the chair is level of course so yeah that's it um like there is no easier way to set up motion compensation at this point in time um i and it works with both open vr games and open xr games as long as they're running via steam vr so that's the only caveat all right Cheers.